Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Shapeways, a channel, a leader in 3D printing solutions, combining high-quality, flexible, on-demand manufacturing powered by purpose-built proprietary software. Joining us, Greg, the Chief Executive Officer, giving us some insights today in the broader view of the company, earning some guidance. First and foremost, welcome back, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. It's always good to see you. And it was a pleasure to get you on. So you guys are just uh, dropping earnings, and you've been kind of in this really incredible growth phase. You came in at guidance. Do you want to talk a little bit about the investments you guys have been making, expectations, some of the guidance moving forward here? Yeah, great question. I mean, ultimately, last year, we spent a lot of time and energy really starting to invest in some of our growth initiatives. And there's really two things we've been focused on the most. One is moving beyond our legacy e-commerce manufacturing channels and really starting to lean into more enterprise customers. And we've seen a lot of really good momentum here. Um, you know, ultimately, there's a couple highlights that we highlighted in the earnings call. One is we have brought on a customer whirlpool where we're supporting them with like injection molding um, production molds um, using both traditional and metal printing. And so the investments we've been making in new hardware and technologies and materials and certifications are really starting to come to fruition, right? As we've made those investments, we've been able to support customers with new applications that we've never been able to do before. Um, we've also brought on a customer, you know, there's a partnership, there's a project Dragonfly, which is a partner between NASA and Lockheed Martin, and we're supporting them with flight, uh, flight ready um, components for their drone development. And so there's a lot of really, really interesting applications that are going on. And you're starting to see more enterprise customers, really larger names, you know, Fortune 500 customers using Shapeways for really great applications. And I think those investments that we've made, not only on manufacturing capability and the additive side with you know, investments in metal and certifications and finishes, but also coupling that with the investments we've made on the traditional side are really starting to come together. And we're moving beyond just those first parts that are being qualified into real production ready parts um, where we see these customers with a lot of ability to grow in the future, right? So we've definitely seen a lot of traction there. The second thing that we've been doing is focused on commercializing our software. And as you mentioned in the intro, Shapeways' differentiator has been the use and the development of this purpose-built proprietary software to really digitize the end-to-end -end manufacturing process. And what we've done is we've taken pieces of that and kind of created standalone pieces of software tools and services, and we're now packaging that and providing it to other small manufacturers. So they can move their businesses online, they can gain efficiencies in their own manufacturing operations. And then third, they can expand their supply chain and get access to things that they don't manufacture internally, but they could use others to go manufacture. And we've seen a lot of really good momentum here as we've started to grow. Our, we've really solved our acquisition funnel. We have solved customer retention and we're starting to drive lifetime value. And as we think about the, that, that software business, it creates this operating platform, very similar to like what Toast has done for small, main, for small restaurants, right? We have that same opportunity to go support this multi-trillion dollar manufacturing industry, which is made up of a ton of small and mid-sized manufacturers and really help them digitize their operations as well. And we're leveraging all of that work that Shapeways has done over the last 10 years to go really deploy that software to those customers. And so we're really excited about where we are. And I think the investments that we made last year are starting to really gain some momentum. I definitely appreciate these insights. You touched on a lot. I mean, you guys have kind of this vertical integra uh, integration across the board, let alone these contracts with uh, NASA and these partnerships with like uh, just the space industry, I think is relatively intriguing. If there's one thing that investors should fixate on when it comes to Shapeways uh, through the latter half of 2023, what, would, what should that be? Yeah, I think it's continued path to profitability, right? You know, as we went public, um, we still are burning capital as we invest in some of these growth initiatives. But what you're going to see over time is revenue will continue to grow. Our gross margin will continue to be optimized and grow with the business. And then we'll control our costs. And you're going to see a path to profitability, which allows the business to really sustain itself for, for the long term. And I think that's one of the things we're really focused on is making sure that, you know, we have we're focused on profitable growth and we're focused on that path to profitability while we invest in these areas, which drive a lot of growth for the business. I definitely appreciate these insights and I'll pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news continues to come down the wire, we're going to update you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.